So how do you know? The test is simple. Just check the inside of your fuel door. It may be in there. If it's not there, it's definitely going to be in your owner's manual. Take a look in there in the fuel section and it'll show you what the required octane rating is. If it says premium required, then you're gonna need premium. If it says recommended, then it's only optional. Only helping under maybe heavy load, towing conditions, high heat conditions. If it doesn't say anything, you're really wasting your money. There are some examples when maybe using a lower octane rating is actually better for your car. I can tell you many years ago, I had a, I think it was a 1976 Firebird. And if I put premium in that thing, I noticed it was hard to start. It just didn't seem to run as good. Now that's probably a lot to do with a really low compression ratio on that engine, maybe a worn out engine. And you know, that fuel just doesn't want to burn as easy when you have a higher octane. So this will be a good example of maybe not only wasting your money, but actually decreasing the performance of your car because you're trying to use a high octane fuel. Again, 